Hey y'all, I, Rick Sky here. Welcome back to another Time Pieces for Tomorrow video. And if you're looking for a sweatshirt like this, pint glasses, t-shirts, coffee mugs, and more, look down below. And also be sure to subscribe. And when you do, ring that bell icon to be notified whenever I post another video. But within this video, I want to talk about the Tudor Chrono. This is the Tudor Black Bay Panda, or Inverted Panda, Reverse Panda, whatever you want to call it. It's got the black uh, primary dial and the white silverish subdials, but I'm going to show you how to use a chronograph. So let's go ahead and flip down here and I'm going to show you how to use a chronograph. So this is the Tudor Black Bay Chrono and it's got screw down pushers. So the first thing you're going to need to do, and I want to throw some cautionary words out there. This watch is highly water resistant with all the crown screwed down. That's the pushers or the pushers and then the crown. If it's not screwed down, it's not water resistant. So keep that in mind. So for that reason, you know, always keep it screwed down unless I'm planning to uh, use the chronograph complication. So you can see here this hand, that's the second hand for the chronograph. This right here, this small subdial at the three o'clock position, that's the minutes for the chronograph. And then this over here is just on the, at the nine o'clock, that's the small seconds for just for regular timekeeping. So, you know, instead of the big hand sweeping, when the chronograph's not in use, that's what's always moving. So if you look down at a watch and you're like, man, it's broken. No, this is how a chronograph watch works. This hand, this big hand, like you're accustomed to seeing on say, a, you know, in a Rolex Submariner or a Tudor Black Bay 58 that's sweeping, that's not gonna sweep unless you're using a chronograph. It's using the small seconds instead. So for starters, what you wanna do is make sure the wristwatch is dry and then you're gonna unscrew both the pushers If your fingers are wet or sweaty or greasy, I've been frying some bacon. It can be a little, and you notice I screwed them down tightly because, you know, I don't, I don't want to risk introducing water. So once these are unscrewed, see now you've got your pushers out. So you can engage the uh, chronograph complication. So when you push, uh, that, that's the reset. So the top one, push it makes a satisfying click. This is a column wheel chronograph. Actually, it's based on the Breitling B01 movement. Tudor did a, uh, did a movement swap with uh, Breitling. So you can see now this red tipped large hand, that's your seconds. Now watch this three o'clock position dial because when that gets back to, when that returns to 12 o'clock, you're gonna see that three o'clock small dial, you're gonna see it go to, uh, to one, so that represents one minute. So this particular timepiece, and there's different types of chronographs, but this timepiece, once that goes to 12, it'll be one, and it's got, so it's got increments of five. So, so one, two, three, four, and then five's a big hash. The next big hash is 10, and then 15, which is marked, and then 20, which is not marked, 25 is not marked, 30 is marked, 35 is not, uh, 40 is not, but 45 is, watch, here we go, boom. So see, it's, it's ticked over to one. So that's gonna go every time the large hand goes around, of course, that's 60 seconds from 12 o'clock position to 12 o'clock position. And we all should know that 60 seconds is one minute. So, you know, every time that large hand goes around, that three o'clock position subdial is gonna increase by one. Now, one thing about this particular chronograph, the Tudor uh, Black Bay chronograph is that some chronographs have multiple dials. You know, some of them do do hours and minutes. You know, this particular one, this will you can time stuff up to 45 minutes, as you can see there, because it goes from from you know zero to around to to 45. Disregard this nine o'clock position subdial because again, that's just used. That's a small seconds for the for the uh, for the wristwatch. Watch this. Now it's going to go up to two. Ding. See, there it goes. So that's how it'll work. Now, when you get finished timing, whatever, let's say it was just two minutes and seven seconds, you can push this bottom. I'm sorry. I stand corrected. You push the top and see now the seconds hand has, uh, has stopped. Now, if you push this again, it'll start back. So this will start and stop. Now, once you finish timing everything, so with that stopped, the large hand is not sweeping anymore. You can push the bottom and see now it resets. 
So the large hand goes back to the 12 o'clock position. This 3 o'clock position, uh, uh, small dial, it goes back to 45. Now always, again, I can't reiterate the importance of this, always screw your crowns back, your, your pushers back down. Because these are screw down pushers. And just to show you, if these weren't screwed down, see there's, there's a gap there. You know, water can get in and it will ruin your timepiece. That could be rain, that could be, you know, maybe you've had a few drinks and you jumped in a pool or something, which would be very dangerous. But, you know, maybe that happened and, uh, you know, you didn't have your pusher screwed down. So for that reason, I always keep my pusher screwed down unless I'm in a dry location and I'm needing to time something. And in all sincerity, if I'm needing to time something, I'm, <laughs> I'm probably not going to use my my tutor you know i'm probably just going to look at a as bad as it sounds i'll look at something on the phone but you know these watches nevertheless i like the chronographs not not just because you can use them like a stopwatch which is called a chronograph not to be confused with chronometer but this is a chronograph and a chronometer so yeah the so the the chrono uh, chronograph complication also known as a stopwatch it's useful and that's how it works so you know, these aren't just, these these pieces don't just look cool. They actually serve a purpose, and that purpose is being able to use them like a stopwatch. Again, it's called a, uh, a chronograph. So, hope this video helped. Uh, be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and ring that bell icon when you do to be notified whenever I post another video. And be sure to uh, check out my timepieces for tomorrow video playlist. I've got a lot of videos now and a ton more and t tons more coming soon. And speaking of that, if you are a pre-owned pre wristwatch dealer and you'd like to reach out to me, I'm looking for a quality pre-owned wristwatch dealer to, uh, to develop a relationship with. And the reason is, is that I need access to wristwatches to review here within my timepieces for tomorrow videos. And I'm looking for someone that is a pre-owned wristwatch dealer so that not only can I obtain access to review wristwatches, but I could also say, oh, you know, check the link within this video's description and you can find where to, where to find uh, pre-owned wristwatches like these online. You know, it could, be a, it could be a cool opportunity. Nevertheless, I appreciate your viewership. Stay tuned. If there's anything you'd like for me to try to talk about within future timepieces for tomorrow videos, just comment below. I'll try to whip up a video. Again, I've been collecting wristwatches since, that's well, probably a few years old. So, you know, I've, I don't think I have a ton of knowledge, but I've I learned quite a bit. So it's it's a fun addiction. Y'all have a good day. Hey y'all, Captain Irix Guy here. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to subscribe. It's youtube.com forward slash Irix Guy. And ring that bell icon when you do to be notified whenever I post another video. Thanks for your viewership and y'all have a good day.